Here we are guys, um, we're in the Mastercam office and in, in preparation for this weekend's dyno tests, we've had the ability to grab our hands on the 208 ASCAST version and the T-Rex version and we've been able to run them in our five axis CNC and digitize the ports and bring them to you in a 3D mold where you can actually see what the port looks like. And then when I look through the side, I can actually bring in the T-Rex port now by looking at what they've done um, has, is good. I've actually been able to see that by the way they've ported the cylinder head, they've brought the short turn, actual turn back this far away from the port. So in actual fact, they're leveling up both sides of the turn, which is making the same area from both sides. So if we measure this distance versus the height here in this distance, the way they've done it, they've made them very similar in the way that the cylinder head has the short turn come in. What we've seen there before, um, by trying to bring the short turn back, it's trying not to make the turn as savage where the air turns into the port. The air is coming in through the intake manifold, in through the bottom of the port, and it's starting its turn approximately two inches back from the valve seat, and it's starting to make a gradual turn into the port. A lot of ports I see um, this area here is filled in a lot, making this port very sharp. Those motors seem to run through their power band a lot quicker and they finish a lot earlier. Where this cylinder head, they've leveled out, as I was explaining, the apex of the turn on the long side of the port versus the apex of the turn on the short side of the port. They've actually brought them out to be very similar, which is a good thing. Um, just as an added bonus, as you're aware, um, after watching this video, we have done some extra testing and included a pair of cylinder heads of our own. These are a higher market cylinder head um, and they've got a slightly different port shape which we can actually show here. And I can bring this port in and I can actually see the difference. The purple port is the standard as cast cylinder head. The blue is the T-Rex and the Grey, silvery or grey, is our cylinder head. So if I actually look at them through side view and make them translucent, you can actually see, if I get to the original, here is our original 208, you can actually see the T-Rex cylinder head with its longer turn is coming back and you can actually see our cylinder head has got a similar turn but I haven't continued it all the way through due to the fact that I'm trying to get port volume into this engine um, to make more top end horsepower. Here we have the exhaust port guys from the standard 208 version. We can then bring it up and compare it against the T-Rex. Here is our original high port exhaust and here is the T-Rex exhaust port. Now because the port is so much downhill the airspeed that would run across this part of the port would be astronomical. So they've dug the cylinder head out at the back a lot um, to try and reduce that amount of airspeed and keep the port, the speed of the gases going out the exhaust as slow as possible for the shape that it actually has to go. So Looking at dyno results, they have showed up that the way that it's been designed is, is pretty good. We can actually show you guys our exhaust port. Here is our original 208 casting that's been highlighted yellow now. You've seen that the, the lower T-Rex port has been brought down and dug out at the back. And you can also now see our cylinder head hasn't had as much area out of the back of the port and personally myself I think that's due to not having to turn as much we've got a nice gradual turn all the way and the ability of the high exhaust port has shown that it will pass more air at a higher RPM and therefore making more power you have three different varieties available that will work for the same application but slightly different in areas of how you want to use them for power and what type of car for an example, you might have a Falcon and you've built a motor and you want a low-end, good horsepower engine and you want low RPM. 
It's a perfect example of a 208 CHI casting and it's readily available for around about $3,000. Your next step up from there, if you wanted to make a step up for more power, looks at the T-Rex version of cylinder head that we tested and it makes approximately 100 more horsepower and it costs roughly around $1,000 more. Cheap in comparison when you think about the horsepower made. Then there's, and on that second step, there's no changing of exhaust pipes, all standard pacemakers off the shelf fit, and everything fits straight in and there's no issues. Your next step up from there would be one of our version cylinder heads, which has been ported a little bit more, it's got a little bit more handwork, and it makes a little bit more top end power, broader power over the range, but it's more specific to a higher RPM. So um, overall, we've got three sets of cylinder heads and we, we hope you like all the results. For more in-depth results, as well as cylinder head specifications and details of the test engine, check out the full feature in issue 88 of Extreme Magazine or issue 92 of Street Forwards Magazine. Available from all leading news agents or online.